with you. It's beer drink. I did not know that Woodstock, Georgia had a craft brewery. I'm always out in the Woodstock area. Woodstock, Canton, Ackworth, Kennesaw. And I thought that the closest brewery there was Burnt Hickory. However, Reformation, let me know in the comments. How do y'all say it? Reformation or Reformation? Huh? Let me know down in the comments. Reformation or Reformation? Reformation or Reformation? <laughs> Anyhow, Woodstock, Georgia's Reformation Brewery. <laughs> I've yet to have a beer from them until now. Reformation Brewery is in Woodstock, Georgia, so I went ahead and picked up a six-pack of Cadence Belgian-style ale, 6.9 alcohol by volume. Why did I do that? I don't know. You know why I did do that? Because I plan on going there very soon because I'm always out in the Woodstock, Canton, Kennesaw area, as I've said earlier in this video. This is what we have here. Holy it ain't no holy shit because this shit could be garbage, man. It's crazy because it's a Belgian-style L, and I hate the Belgian-style triples. I didn't notice that this said that this was a Belgian-style double L. Hopefully, I ju I'm just not a, a non-fan of the Belgian style. The reason why I have never picked up a Reformation or Reformation, however you're supposed to say it, brewery beer, is for the fact that the can, to be totally honest, is not all that enticing out of the box or, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy. It's just something light. It's just super light. It's super low when it comes to the can. Man, y'all niggas got to move, man. This should keep taking the focus away. Holy shit. Um, um, what the fuck is going on? Okay, anyway. Shit. Out of Woodstock, Georgia. I'm definitely going to make my rounds over there because I looked up their uh, catalog and they have a lot of sour beers and I fuck with the sour. So I'm definitely going to make my way back over there to back. How the fuck can you go back if you've never been there in the first place? Let's go ahead and give this shit a pour, man. Just a pour, man. Beer on the mic again. Oh, shit. It's a bit dark. Kind of amber colored. Get a little more aggressive straight down the middle. Bubble streaming up with like the salmon as you can see. I'm hoping you can see it. If you can't see it, I guess the camera ain't doing the damn job. It's not as dark as it's looking in the camera. It's a bit lighter amber. You can see more of the color situations up back here. No, it actually does look like that. I mean, it's just the... Uh. God damn it. Anyway, produced about a finger and a quarter worth ahead. Bubble streaming up with like the candy cane, candy corn, candy corn, candy corn. What are they feeding you? What the, the fuck did that even mean? I don't know. Do you know? I know, but you don't know because you don't know what I know and I know exactly what you know because who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and put our nose in this beer real quick, okay? Woodstock, I hope this ain't no woodcock. <laughs> Morning wood ever heard of it. And this is the weirdest and dumbest shit that you're ever gonna hear but from this beer from my sneer i smell a bit of like hickory it's like I, I really get a hickory a hickory smell from it which is funny an everyday belgian style double with deep fruit aroma and a clean finish i'm hoping that it is a clean finish and not like the trip belgian triple uh persuasion because i fucking hate belgian triple Definitely hickory. You do get a bit of fruit, to be totally honest. Man, you got to cup it sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, I mean, you don't want to get in trouble. This is a double. Double, double of trouble. <laughs> but sometimes you got to cuff it like you about to get in the back of the police receptacle. Anyway, let's go ahead and fucking put this shit to the, to, to the, um, let's throw some down the neck. Characteristically, it does remind me of that goddamn Belgian triple that I fucking hated from uh, Angry Monkey or Golden Monkey, whatever the fuck that monkey was. But Monkey C does, isn't what Monkey do. I like this, and I do get, from what the can said, a clean finish. It's a crisp finish on the back end, very crisp. Very fruity at the very beginning of the beer. And when I say very fruity, very fruity. Like, almost like a kind of a stanky, danky fruit. Like, I'm not sure exactly what they use for this beer. I gotta taste it again. Hold on. Cherries. There's definitely cherry present in this beer. And if I'm wrong, 
I'm wrong. It is what it is. Like I said, I do these beer reviews. How I do these beer reviews. Don't need beer advocate. Don't need rape beer. Don't need another motherfucker to tell me what the fuck I taste. Anyhow, I get a bit of maybe like black cherry on the finish of this beer. Tastes very good, but the crispiness of the beer, and that's funny, the crispiness of the beer. It's very crisp and uh, and clean at the end. So, uh. <laughs> If there's if there's if there's no black cherries in this situation, I'm tripping. And 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 you know what? Truthfully, if not, if this if this beer, if Cadence wasn't brewed with black cherries, it was brewed with black cherries. Possibly someone had a black cherry in their like pocket. I don't have pockets on this shirt, so that joke didn't make sense. But maybe they had a black cherry in their pocket, and as they were smashing up the things in the blender and then the uh, ninja bullet, a cherry fell out. And into this batch so definitely this beer has black cherry in it who are you to say it's not because i'm the one drinking it you know so this was definitely a good beer and i'm i'm definitely fucking with this this is not like the belgian triple from angry blue golden monkey that i did not like i like this beer this is very crisp sweet on the front and mid tone sweet on the front and mid definitely get black cherry uh, maybe a little bit of vanilla. And to be totally honest, a, a little bit of caramel. But very crisp on the end. I like this beer. I really like this. And also 6.9 alcohol by volume. I wouldn't have called that at all. I would have said maybe 5.8. Maybe right at 6. But all, like damn near 7% alcohol by volume. This shit is masked like a son of a bitch. I really like this beer, and I'm so angry that this is the first beer that I've had from Reformation uh, Brewery. The reason why I haven't picked up anything from Reformation Brewery, to be totally honest, is the fact that the, if you can see it, the can. Like, the can art and the can, the pretty much the visualization of the product is pretty bland, to be totally honest. It's just pretty much is what it is, but from what it is, What's inside the can is what counts, right? And truthfully, what's inside this can is fucking golden. Like, and that may be a thing to where a lot of people, craft brewer or craft beer lovers, uh. craft beer reviewers, just beer fans all around anywhere, you may have to kind of step back and not always go for that can or that bottle that has just great artwork on it because this right here this artwork is very clean simple and in 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 basic but the beer inside is anything but basic this is the great beer mm, really good reformation brewery company brewery company nigga what reformation beer beer what oh god Woodstock, Georgia. Hopefully, I'll be there this weekend. I'm going to try to make it through Reformation. And we're going to reform the, the, we're going to, re, we're going to reform, we're going to reformate the Masons. That's real crisp. On a scale of zero to five, Reformation. Cadence, Belgian style, ale, 6.9 alcohol by volume. I'm going to give this beer on a scale of 0 to 5. It's a 4.3. Why 4.3? Why not a 4.5? Because a 4.5 is a 4.5 and I'm alive. So why not? A 3 means more for me, more for you, as well as... Who are you? I rhyme you with you. <laughs> Later.